Hi and welcome to video number five. You're going to learn how to save and to organize your account information. In addition to that, I'm also going to show you how to use FileZilla and give you a quick walkthrough of FileZilla and its settings. Now you don't have to use everything in FileZilla. I'm going to show you the basics so you don't get overwhelmed. The first thing, however, you'll need to open the site manager so that you can organize your domain names. If you click on this, the first thing you'll need to do is click on new folder and then I'm just going to call this test and then within each folder you want to make a new site which looks like this. So in this case I'm going to name it ftp.30minutescrapbooks.com and then up here the host is basically ftp. whatever your domain name is. I'm going to change login type from anonymous to normal and then I'm going to enter my username and password and then when I'm done all you have to do is click OK. Once you're done with that you're pretty much done. Now I want to talk about a few different settings that FileZilla provides. If you go to edit and you click on settings this will give you an overview of what FileZilla can do if you by default this is selected and what happens is you'll see maximum number of retries and so you don't really need to worry about this for now we'll just switch on to over here now I want to mention this part to you because it really depends on how fast of a connection you have if you have a super super fast upload connection meaning that you can upload files fairly quickly and you know this because you've uploaded you've attached let's say a picture to your email and it attaches very very quickly then you can actually increase the number of simultaneous transfers so what that means is if you're trying to upload let's say five pictures you could either upload it one at a time or you could upload it five at a time now obviously I would not recommend that you do this unless you really have a fast connection. So if you're living in a big city like New York, California, Chicago and so forth and you have a really fast internet speed, then in that case then I would recommend why not. You know, Right now I have a slow uh, internet speed which is 45k per second upload speed. But tomorrow I'm actually getting an upgrade to my system so that I can upload at 450k per second upload speeds. So in that case I can make it faster and let's say do two transfers. That means two files will be transferred. That means if I want to upload and download at the same time I can do that. Otherwise if it's number one then that means that you can only download one and while that's downloading you can't download anything else so it's really up to you whatever you want to do and that's pretty much all I use you can process queue and all that but all that will make sense when we're actually transferring files but in terms of basics that's pretty much all you need to know for now in video number six I'm gonna show you how to connect to your FTP account I'm going to walk you through everything as we're connected and so forth. 